Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Time is flying by and I can't believe it's almost the last quarter of 2021. But here we are, so let's start planning for October. I apologize for the length of this video. It was extremely doodle heavy and took a lot of time and I didn't want to leave out too much of the process. I also tried out something new which was a little bit intimidating at first and you also get to see more spreads than usual. So better go grab a cup of tea or coffee before we start. So as you can see I'm going for a magical witchcraft kind of theme with a lot of doodles and this desaturated purple and some silver as my accent colors. After my September theme I wanted to do something more simple and minimal, but when I was sketching out the cover page I somehow kept adding more and more doodles and I honestly don't know what happened. Also the lettering looks weird to me, the whole cover page looks like someone else's style, I don't know, but I like it anyway. I'm going for a mix of typical magical stuff like potions, spell books and crystals and also plants and bugs and snakes and Halloweeny stuff like skulls and bones. At this point Mani and I decided not to show all of the outlines because you'll see even more doodles anyway and I didn't want the video to be even longer and more repetitive. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you filming this took the whole day. You can literally watch the sun go down. the first time I'm using paint markers in my bullet journal and I have to say I love it. They are so opaque and adding little details to black backgrounds is so much easier now. I got a pack of 42 acrylic paint markers from Artistro and I'm planning on doing a more in-depth review video of these soon. 
I don't know what exactly I'm going to paint on. Maybe the cover of my next sketchbook or something like that. Let me know if you have any ideas. Anyway, thanks to Artistro for sending me these markers. not my first magical kind of theme so I picked a very simple quote which says time to make the magic happen because I think I've already used the more funny or interesting Harry Potter quotes but I like it anyway and who doesn't want some magic to happen in their life right now and it's the first time I'm using more than one font and some stems for it in a while. I also added some drop shadows and doodles of the sun and the moon and finished it off with some washi tapes from Takti and of course some more sparkles. Again, it's a lot more than I initially planned, but I really like how the cover spread turned out. I also think it's a lot easier to turn these doodles into a Patreon sticker sheet than last month's illustrations. Next up is my October calendar spread, which is going to be the first one of a huge Dutch door. The calendar itself is very simple, but there will be a lot of doodles around it. I kinda regret that I added that drop shadow, but I'll keep it now, going to add some hatching to it later. But please stop me, I always tell you that I don't really like hand lettering, but I keep trying. This one is a mess.
So as a lazy person who still wants a pretty bullet journal, I had this idea to create a Dutch door, which includes all of my monthly spreads. This way I don't have to draw all of these doodles over and over again, but only on the first and the last spread. You will see what I mean very soon. Now that I cut all the edges, which was the scariest part of the setup, let's go on with the tracker spread. What I'm doing for my mood tracker is not new or original and a lot of people did that before, like Amanda for her witchcraft theme in 2018 I believe. I also did something similar with honey jars in April 2020. So what I'll do is drawing 31 little flasks and fill them depending on my mood. A full potion means a great mood and an empty flask means a very bad mood, which is hopefully not going to happen. I also added some other items like books or candles between the flasks to make everything look more interesting. Because of the limited space I had to kick out one of my habit trackers, but I wanted to overthink what I'm going to track anyway. The next few spreads are my expense tracker, a notes page, my memories page, a gratitude log and the two lines a day spread and they are all going to be very simple because of the doodles on the edges. It's super refreshing to do it that way.
also considered adding tabs to the pages, but I thought it would be too much with all these doodles. And I thought of adding even more spreads, because there's so much going on in my head right now. Like, I really want to do Inktober this year, but I'm not sure if I can do it. Do you join any art challenge this October? If yes, let me know which one. I tried Inktober last year, but there was a lot going on at the beginning of the month, so I did like one drawing and a few sketches and failed almost immediately. And now I'm not sure if I should try again. I'm going to add those missing numbers later. It was a tough day and I made some little mistakes. The two lines a day is going to be the last of the Dutch door spreads, so we can finally add the doodles to the other edge. I also thought about adding all the weekly spreads to the Dutch door, but this would have been way too much for only one video. Another idea I had was to create a similar Dutch door spread for all of my weekly spreads in my next video. But October would have already started then, so I went for a usual weekly spread, including the first 10 days of October. But let me know if you'd be interested in a Dutch door spread for weekly logs of a whole month. I 
have to admit, this is almost boring compared to the Dutch door spread. So we are almost done with this setup. If you're still watching this monster of a video, thank you so so much. I highly appreciate your support. And that's it! Now it's time for the flip through. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day!